Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today we're gonna to be working on this awesome Colonius helmet. He's the designer, and this is the Deathstroke Red X version helmet. Loving this thing. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, so this is a model of the Deathstroke that's sort of the Titans Red X version of Deathstroke. So a lot of people do the Deathstroke helmet, and I thought this would be a really fun one, kind of different. Uh, this is from Colonius. He is an amazing modeler. The link to his Etsy site is below, uh, and I had a lot of fun with this. Let's head over behind the fake wall and take a look at how I put it together and weathered it. Okay, so I've already painted this white, and then I put down a... Uh, layer of blue blue tape <laughs> painters tape around the X to sort of mark it off and uh, get it ready so with the bag over it what I then did was I cut the sort of X out roughly and now I can go ahead and put some tape down so I'm taping the plastic sort of grocery bag it's not really a sort of grocery bag it is a grocery bag onto that X so this way I'm not taping off that whole helmet or doing something crazy I only had to cut this little bit out and put it inside this bag and there we go so it's all taped up make sure you always tape that end off or you'll get some paint in there and it's simply ripping the bag away and it just looks really sharp I mean this white uh, this red against the white super super happy with that and it is very uh, always very gratifying to peel your tape off and just to see nice clean straight lines uh, I love how graphic that is and how just the helmet looks really cool but it did look too clean so I weathered the heck out of it and of course I'm using just uh, acrylic paint these are like the basic brand and there's links below if you want to click on those they are affiliate links now you want to get the weathering in the cracks more because that's really where dirt would accumulate and for that I use uh, the paint without a lot of water on it when I wanted to thin it out a little bit I use water and I'm just putting this on with a paper towel and once that's done it's looking pretty sharp all gooed up in the right areas and I thought it needed a little bit more so I actually took a rasp to it and scratched it up even more now I'm just weathering the side panel with a little bit of paint and time to put the eyes in now these eyes are great I found them on eBay uh, and you got to tear off this little paper strip here so that you can actually see through them and you can see through them uh, I have them on my Red Hood helmet and a bunch of other helmets and uh, you see just fine and to make them sort of adhere or not adhere but sort of conform that's the word I'm looking for to the eye area I use a heat gun you want to be careful though because in this helmet I pushed too hard when it had cooled down and it snapped but this thing is so weathered I thought that would be perfect then I just use a little bit of hot glue to hold the uh, actual LED in place and that's it I peel on the paper off the back again you can see through these but not with that paper and then it is just a question of checking it out everything looks cool again it's got a crack in it but it worked for this helmet so hey don't get upset just go for it here's the battery pack a little piece of velcro on the back and sticking it to the helmet and it, now it's time to put the face plate on the back of the helmet I already drilled some holes and I'm going to use these screws and a nut to hold it together now of course this thing doesn't slide all the way back uh, but it has some motion to it which uh, still makes it look pretty cool so as you can see again the face mech doesn't go all the way back but you do have just this little bit of play uh, but it looks neat that it's a functional type helmet and there it is red X man I love this thing uh, Colonius does an amazing job uh, designing helmets and this one was really fun to finish okay and now for the fit test yep it fits very very well I was very pleased it's printed this at hundred percent right from uh, Colonius's files and it fits just great I mean I've got a pretty big head about 26 inch if I remember correctly but it fits Ooh, really happy with how this guy turned out. Uh, again, check out the, the link below to Colonius's Etsy page. Pick this up yourself. You could print it, or I believe he sells them already done. And great file, great print. Loving this thing. While you're over at Etsy, also you can click on the link below and you can check out my Etsy site where I'm selling 
files to things I've modeled and people that I know, friends of, have modeled, that I'm selling over there, as well as um, actual prints. Uh, they're, I'm adding them slowly, and I'm not printing tons and tons of them, so if you get there and they're sold out, email me or maybe add some uh, comments below if you'd like to see more files up there for me to sell, and I'll get them up there. But, uh, yeah, get this guy, because this is a fun, really, really fun, simple helmet to print, and I had a blast doing it. If you like the video, please hit uh, like and subscribe. I don't know why I blanked out on that. I say it every time. Hit like and subscribe. Hit the little bell to know when we'll have more videos, which are coming out weekly, which is awesome that I'm getting these things out weekly, and it's a lot of fun. I'm really having a blast doing this again. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, and take it easy.